Hello everybody, welcome into another episode of the Wandering Buffalo Podcast, a show here on the Buffalo Fanbase Network. Uh, I just want to kind of put it out there right now. I'm sorry if I sound a little somber or I, I don't have a whole lot of energy. I'm recording this episode on Saturday the the 14th here and we Justin and I originally had plans to record this episode on Sunday to talk about Jerry Hughes and you know the bill schedule but it just recent events and we're going to talk more about Buffalo and the city and what tragic the tragic event that happened at Topps Market market that happened today and instead because it just seems like I don't know it it just seems like something that I want to talk about more than football there are more important things than football and talking about Buffalo and how it's going to go through how it's going to go through the healing process seems a little more important to us and us being Justin and me and Jacob, the producer here, about what we want and the message that we want to send out as opposed to talking about the Bills. So I hope that's okay with you. And someone here to help me talk about this is the voice of the podcast. You've only heard her once before, but Claire Barnwell, she's here to help me flush out these thoughts. Claire, how are you doing today? Hey, Andrew. I'm doing well. Obviously, super sad about all of the recent events going on. Yeah, and it, it, I, it, I find myself struggling to talk about it because it just seems so unreal that it happened. And the fact that it happened in our own backyard really is troubling and the fact that it was a racially motivated attack that was broadcasted live through Twitch is really just downright sickening. And it makes me so angry and so sad at the same time. I I don't really know how to process my thoughts here because it's this happened like what four four hours ago and I'm still trying to ruminate on these thoughts and how I feel and then I start going through the rabbit and going into the rabbit hole well like I'm having these feelings I don't know how you the listeners are feeling and especially and I just want to say this right now my condolences Seriously, to all the family members out there of the victims, or if you were just like in the area, just just anyone in the community of Buffalo or West New York that feels this like pain or just any type of way about this, like I, I'm I'm right there with you. That's all I want to say. Like this this is not something that you shouldn't you should feel that you shouldn't feel like you should have like these are those feelings are valid and i i i just yeah it just sucks <laughs> i don't i don't really know how else to put it how how are you feeling about it yeah i it just sucks to continue hearing about the shootings that happen in our country and like you said andrew the fact that it was blatantly and admittedly racially motivated by the perpetrator is that much more infuriating, um, especially the fact that this person had the audacity, like you said, to live stream it. And I'm really just curious what Twitch as an organization, as a company, um, if they're going to post some type of statement or you know, what their PR is going to be around this tragedy. Yeah, that's that's pretty. And I, you know, before we get into it any further, like this is going to be a shorter episode because, the, like, obviously, we don't want to talk about this too too much, but it does need to be talked about. But to go off what you said, for I'm I'm I got the article up from AP right now, and it said for at least two minutes. 
two whole minutes, he broadcasted this whole thing happening before Twitch got in and ended his transmission. So for two whole minutes, we don't know how many people saw that live. That is so troubling that that people got to see that. That it was even on the table. I, I don't I don't know what Twitch is gonna do in terms of how to prevent something like this from happening. I don't even know how you really go about that, but this is just it's tragic. <laughs> and it's I keep on saying the same things over and over, but I really just don't have other good words to use here. It's it's sickening. And I I really I I just don't know like where that's so much hate coming from such a a young eighteen year old male just why and I I don't I we we don't have the answers which is the real frustrating part and then I. This isn't a podcast that's going to be able to give you the answers. It's just... It's just sad. And... I I don't know. Are there any thoughts that you want to kind of talk over, Claire? It's just... I, I, I'm having a hard time really staying focused right now just because I'm, I'm starting to get to that angry, sad phase again, so... Hmm. I hear you. Yeah, I think at this time, you said this earlier in our conversation before recording, Andrew, is that uh, we really need to just reach out to our family members near and close, whether they're in Buffalo or in the surrounding area or wherever they may be, and just really thank them and tell them that you love them um, and make sure that you really appreciate each moment. Mm -hmm. Um because you never know what psychopath might take that away. And so to the folks in Buffalo, our hearts go out to you and we want to support you in any way. Um, And I know the Buffalo Bills fan base uh, will rally together and do something to honor the people lost um, and make sure that this doesn't happen again in whatever ways that may be big or small. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sorry. I, I, this is, this is great because Claire always brings me back. (laughs) I, I, I definitely agree. And I'm going to just echo everything you said. There is really just look out for your neighbor or, you know, your loved ones, your siblings, your dog, your cat, or, you know, your your pen pal. I don't know. Because one day, like, they might not be there for whatever reason. And, you know, just try to, try to appreciate those relationships and have them as long as possible and make sure that they're positive and that, you know, you didn't, you didn't, squash something that could have been great over something tiny because in, unfortunately there are, there are worse things in this world <laughs> and unfortunately this is an example of it so it makes everything look a little you know puts everything into perspective I should say but uh, yeah I, I, I would agree that I, I fully expect something to happen where this city's just it's it's going to go through its healing process and i know the the community of western new york is very very strong i've lived in it my we've lived in it basically our entire lives and i've seen great things happen over my almost 30 years of being alive and i it's it, I, i'm not going to sugarcoat it it's going to be hard 
this is going to be very hard to recover from. But all I can do is just sit there, hope, and pray that everyone have a safe rest just safe life and that hopefully nothing bad happens and that like this community comes together ties together to start the healing process however or however long that might take but i i don't really have much else to talk about claire uh, if you have anything else you want to talk about feel free to you know jump in right now but this this episode's really just to just really talk about what just happened and it, it like i said it's very fresh to claire and i and ju- like i said justin couldn't be here because he was working and he still is working right now and it, it, it's just again untimely <laughs> and it, we didn't want to basically dismiss this this elephant in the room by talking about Buffalo Bills football because we 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 could talk about Bills football whenever we want. This this needs to be addressed. Um, with that being said, Claire, did you did you have anything else you'd like to je- uh, pitch in on? Yeah, just uh, a few things in terms of if you can confirm. I believe based on the article you're reading, but they do have obviously the perpetrator in custody, uh, mm-hmm. which can bring very little solace. But you know, solace nonetheless. Yep. Um, and the fact to reiterate that in Buffalo there is no room for hate, and so please, please spread love and compassion when you can, where you can, whenever you can. Um, Andrew, I appreciate you taking the time to honor, you know, those folks lost and that this is meant to do that. And we still love Buffalo, um, but, you know, the bills can wait. Yeah, absolutely. Um yeah, I I don't really have else, much else to say. Very well said. But uh, regardless of where you're hearing this or however you're listening to this podcast, I just want to say thank you and wish you, you know, all the best and uh, good mental health, of course. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll, you know, try to start things back up on a regular off-season programming come next Monday. But uh, until then... You can always find us at the Wandering Buffalo Podcast, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, night, evening, whenever you're listening to this, however you're listening to this, and just stay safe. All right, and again, Claire, thank you so much for being a part of this episode on such short notice. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Andrew, and thank you all for listening to the Wandering Buffalo Podcast. All right, have a good one.